Who would have imagined that a small town in the middle of the desert 50 years ago could later become one of the most opulent cities on the planet with the tallest skyscrapers and most luxurious lifestyles? Dubai is the Middle East's luxurious image today as well as the most popular tourist destination in the region. You've probably seen pictures of the Burj Al Arab Hotel, a crescent-shaped skyscraper founded on a man-made island. You may also be aware that Dubai is a cradle to the tallest skyscraper. You could perhaps have even seen Tom Cruise scale it in one of the Mission Impossible movies. The Burj Khalifa is 2,722 feet tall. I'm sure that you're familiar with some of the city's attractions. And that is why today, here in Lujfluent, I will personally be sharing with you why Dubai is an undisputed city of luxury. But before anything else, it would be amazing if you subscribe and hit the notification bell if you learn something helpful from this video. Besides, it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. But otherwise, You'll always be the first to know about the latest trends in luxury and lifestyle as we share them. So, how about we get going? To begin with, let's walk through how did Dubai grow from a modest desert town to the lavish oasis it is today, shall we? The same way that other cities in the UAE became wealthy, oil. Abu Dhabi, only 90 miles away from Dubai, is the world's wealthiest city. It also holds 10% of the world's oil supply. This oil production spearheaded the United Arab Emirates into the first world. Millions of people poured into Dubai, making it one of the largest cities in the Middle East. However, Dubai only earns 5% of its profits from oil because its resources aren't as valuable as those of several of its UAE neighbors. The majority of Dubai's income comes from trade real estate, and tourism. Since the UAE could no longer rely solely on oil production, Dubai has emerged as the country's business center. This adjustment, however, has not stopped this incredibly wealthy city from expanding. Dubai is expanding both horizontally and vertically. In fact, Dubai is home to nearly one quarter of all cranes. Yes, that's correct. Only one city in the UAE is home to 25% of all cranes. Dubai's strategy appears to be to continue developing skyscrapers. The Burj Khalifa and the Burj Al Arab hotels are two of these skyscrapers. The Burj Khalifa towers over half a mile. It's so tall in fact that the upper floors can sway several feet depending on the wind. This nevertheless was not overshadowed by the designers of this massive building. The sway of the Burj Khalifa was designed to be sufficiently slow for the vestibular system in the inner ear to even notice. If your ear is free of interference, this is the part that provides balance. The Burj Al Arab is a magnificent 5-star hotel merely hundreds of feet off the land. Because of its unique shape, the Al Arab is the world's fifth largest hotel. The hotel is 56 stories tall. It is officially classified as a 5-star hotel, although some have given it the highest rating of 7 stars. This 7-star rating is subject to debate because the authority on luxury hotels has yet to be agreed upon. But whenever it has 7 stars or otherwise, this hotel is truly spectacular. A night in the Al Arab Royal Suite will set you back slightly more than $24,000. The inside of the Burj Al Arab is embellished with about 1,790 square meters of 24 karat gold leaf. Yet even that cannot touch the splendid views of the exquisite city as well as the picturesque gulf. Alongside exceptionally massive skyscrapers, the city is determined to construct artificial islands. Both the Palm Islands and the World Islands are truly groundbreaking projects that were accomplished with a lot of money. The building of the Palm Islands not only cost $12 billion to construct, but it also involved 94 million cubic meters of sand. To put it in context, 94 million cubic meters of sand can cover the entire Empire State Building two and a half times. The World Islands, or man-made islands, 
that imitate the structure of the world's land masses required 321 million cubic meters of sand, which requires an additional $15 billion to the cost of Dubai's artificial islands. Let us now turn our attention to law enforcement. Police forces aren't normally something that is considered when discussing sophistication, but it certainly is in Dubai. As a way of luring tourists, Dubai's law enforcement uses supercars as their patrol vehicles. This includes vehicles such as the Ferrari FF, which costs around $500,000, the Lamborghini Aventador, which costs around $400,000, and the Aston Martin 177, which costs a reasonable $1.79 million. Besides that, Dubai is the world's 8th safest city. That's not mostly due to the supercars, of course. The UAE overall has quite stringent laws attributable to the Islamic constitutional monarchies that implement the government of UAE. Before we proceed, what are your thoughts about this city? Have you ever been to Dubai? If not, what intrigues you the most about it? With that said, let's continue. Certain Sharia laws are in place in Dubai too though, notwithstanding, because of the enormous amount of tourism, several places in Dubai are significantly more accommodating. In a conventional Middle Eastern context, serving alcohol would not be permitted, but is in Dubai in places like hotels and nightclubs. It is actually approximated that 15% of Dubai's inhabitants are Emiratis, while the remaining 85% are immigrants from outside the city. Workers constructing hundreds of skyscrapers make up roughly half of the population. The majority of these laborers are all from India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh, which draws upon the more troubling side of Dubai. The social divide is extremely significant. Many immigrant workers endure subpar living and working conditions, while upper-class foreigners and Emiratis receive a very competitive salary. There is little of a common ground between Dubai and the class gap, but just as any divided country, there always exists a sport to reunite the citizens together. In this instance, the sport in question is camel racing. Camel racing in Dubai would be almost comparable to American football in the United States. And Dubai's spin on this sport would be that instead of kid jockeys, they started to use robots. You see, Camel racing has somewhat of a grim past. It used to be the case that young kids would be coerced into riding the camels, and that resulted in human trafficking. In much less quickly developing regions of the Middle East, it still tends to happen. However, in Dubai, kids have been taken over by robots. And guess what? Several of these little bots can cost several thousands of dollars. Moreover, in the coming years, Dubai has some pretty insane plans on the horizon. Dubai is aiming to develop a completely climate-controlled part of the city that extends 4.3 kilometers. Everything was publicly stated when Dubai's leader, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, publicly announced initiatives for the Mall of the World, a 48 million square foot mall of the world. In addition to acting as a sizable pedestrian mall, this miniature city will have a retractable dome hotels, apartments, streets, and parks. The huge structure will more than double the size of Monaco. When you take into account that Dubai regularly struggles in temperatures of 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the concept begins to make sense. But once you factor in the price, the concept starts to lose some of its appeals. Its estimated expenses have yet to be evaluated formally but projections have all been created in the tens of billions of dollars. And bear in mind that the pricing would be significantly larger if the laborers were not horrendously underpaid. The dome will house 20,000 rooms in 100 hotels and service departments. It looks like an extremely ambitious architecture and design feat that we haven't ever regarded Dubai to aim for anything less. And last and most importantly, None of the income received by the government is from the income taxes of Dubai's citizens. There's no such thing in Dubai. 
which is yet another factor in making Dubai among the most interesting destinations in the world. And that, my friends, has been Dubai. We hope this video has enlightened you. If you're interested in content like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button because we will release more videos like this. Thank you for viewing. Until then.